Hey, welcome everybody <coughs> to our 1979 Mets replay. This is game number 98. This was this game was played on July 28th, 1979, and the actual score of this game was Mets six and Chicago Cubs four. We're at Chase Stadium. It's a four-game set. This is game three of the four-game set. We are in the top of the sixth inning. It's Kenny Holtzman versus Pete Falcone. Both starters are still in the game. Um, score right now as it stands is, is Mets 2 and Cubs nothing. Now I'm uh, <coughs> keeping the, the old school uh, paper and pencil scorecard as well as I'm using iScore. So as I've talked about in the future, sometimes uh, I get the itch to go old school and have fun with the paper and pencil and you can have the best of both worlds the other uh, program app keeps my stats for me it takes a little bit longer because I have to put in input twice but that's okay it's a good game the Mets are up to nothing right now and uh, we're gonna see what happens so up for the Cubs in the top of the sixth inning is De Jesus Sizemore and Buckner. Now, all the scoring in this game happened in the first inning when Joel Youngblood led off with a home run. And then after there was one out, Mazzilli walked. There was another out. Uh, Hebner popped up to the catcher. And then John Stearns singled Mazzilli to third. And then it was Steve Henderson who came up and singled home uh, Mazzilli for the second run. That's the score right now. Two to nothing. Mets. And it's going to be Ivan De Jesus uh, versus the lefty Pete Falcone. De Jesus batted 273 versus lefties. And it's going to be a 9. We're using payoff pitch. A uh, 9 is patient on Falcone's card. 21, a patient 21. That's going to be a base on balls. So De Jesus is on at first with a walk. I'm going to put that in here. And next is going to be Ted Sizemore. Sizemore was hit by a pitch in the first inning and flied out to center field in the third. And that's a seven. It's going to be tough on Pete Falcone's card. Zero zeros. So that's a rare play. Now I ignore um, injuries because I play actual lineups. So I ignore injuries. So we're going to look at the rare play with a runner on first. We're going to roll here. Actually, we're going to pull a card. I do fast action cards. It's a nine, and I believe that's going to be an injury, and it is. And uh, we're going to ignore that. We're going to just roll again. Here goes again. Ted Sizemore. And you know what? Uh, De Jesus may try to run. We're going to use this roll. I just remembered that uh, I use the automatic steel chart. He's a four, and we rolled a, an 11, so he doesn't run. We're going to roll again here. It's a 20. See what happens. Eight. Pete Falcone, patient 20. That's a base on balls. So back to back walks. And the go ahead run is now Bill Buckner. So this is not looking good for the Mets here. Just when we start recording, the Mets are in trouble. Now, the actual record for the Mets at this time in the season was 42 and 55. They were 13 games under 500. In our replay, uh, but that can't be their. Uh... Yeah, they're, they're 30 and 67. So they're 12 games worse, and that goes to show you the kind of manager I am. Um, okay, let's see, where were we? Uh, we're going to roll for Bill Buckner now. Bill Buckner, lefty batter versus Pete Falcone. Now there's action in the Met bullpen. It's gonna, it looks like it's uh, Allen out there. Allen pitched in this game, Neil Allen. And here's the roll for Bill Buckner with runners on first and second. It's 2 nothing Mets in the top of the six. There's nobody out. And that's going to be a seven. A seven is a tough, a tough 37. Oh, it's right outside of, so Bill Buckner doesn't hit lefties very well. It's going to be a ground ball to third base. Richie Hebner up with it. He's going to go for the force at second. Back to first. It's a round the horn double play. Five, four, three, just what the doctor ordered for the Metsies. And going to third is De Jesus. Beautiful double play started by Richie Hebner. Five, four, three. 
Hebner to Flynn to the first baseman. Uh, John Stearns, let's get him in there. Stearns at first. There it is. And then at catcher was Trevino. Oh, yep. there you go. Um, so there's two outs in the top of the sixth. It's going to be Mike Vale. Mike Vale uh, batted cleanup in this game on July 28, 1979. Back in time. Here's the pitch. I'm going to re-roll that. It's a three. A three is in play. And in play 79. In play 79 is going to be a fly ball center field. Mazzilli takes a couple of steps back. Makes the catch. And that retires the side. So the Cubs leave one. And after uh, five and a half, it's Mets two, Cubs zip. Alright, it's Kenny Holtzman on the mound for the Cubs. Former Oakland A, which I think that's where he had his best years. And former New York Yankee. In this season, uh, he was had a 6-9 record with a 4.59 ERA. Here's the pitch to Rich. Oh, Bill Buckner made out. He flied out to center. Oh, actually, hit him to a double play. I didn't write this in. That's okay. I'll, I'll write it in right now. 5-4-3. Double play for Hebner. One runner advanced. The other runner was out in a double play. And then it was a fly ball by Vale to center field. All right, Richie Hebner, here's the pitch from Holzman. Lefty versus lefty, it's a nine. That's in play. That's cocked. A, Z, a, a nine, well, now it, we'll do the new numbers. Five, patient zero six. A patient zero six is going to be a base on balls. So Hebner's on, and he's going to potentially run, but I doubt it. Yeah. Oh, he could get picked off there. Now I have to pull out a chart that shows potential pickoffs, and I'll show you what that is like. Kenny Holtzman is a hold of nine, so that's eight plus. So on a, on a zero to 14 roll, he's gonna be a wild, there's gonna be a wild throw to first. Runner out, 15 to 19, and then, so he doesn't have a very good pickoff move. And then it's 20 to 99, he's safe. So usually it's, he's safe, but there's always that chance. And then with better, pitchers with better pickoff moves, uh, you can see, um, there's a way more of a chance for him to get uh, picked off. So let's roll, see what happens. And it's 64, so he's back safely. So nothing happened, basically. And it's John Stearns, the batter, with Hebner on at first. Here's the pitch to Stearns. It's a three ballpark, a ballpark 81 at Chase Stadium. Right-handers, 1-33 to for Wheelhouse. So this is going to be in play. So we're going to roll in play for John Stearns. Let's slide these over. And that's a 23. And in play 23 versus a lefty is going to be a single, a hard grounder into left field. Runner on first advances one base. So first and second, nobody out. And there's action in the Cub bullpen. So a single for Stearns, and Stearns now is two for three on the day. And it's Steve Henderson. Steve Henderson is two for two with an RBI. Now Steve Henderson versus lefties bat at 395, so he's just the guy you want to bat in this situation. Mets are up 2 nothing in the bottom of the sixth. That's a seven. That's tough. A tough 85. Tough 85 is going to be a ground ball to short. This may turn into a double play. We got a look, and it's a 6 4 3 double play. The Cubs turn it. Going to third is Hebner. And there's two out now. And it's Alex Trevino, the catcher. Ground out 6 4 3. There we go. There we go. Held up. Out at second. Double play. All right. Alex Trevino, the batter. Here's the pitch to Alex Trevino. That's seven. Tough. A tough zero seven. That's going to be strikeout. Trevino down on strikes. And that's strikeout number 
one on the day. But Holtzman worked out of that jam. Both starting pitchers still in there. We go to the top of the seventh. It's 2 nothing Mets. Leading it off is going to be Dave Kingman against Pete Falcone. Dave Kingman. Now, Kingman hit, wow, he hit 48 home runs in 1979. What a season that was, huh? 48 home runs, 16 versus lefties, 32 versus righties. And he, you know, from what I'm seeing, he didn't strike out all that much for a guy that hit that many home runs. He struck out 131 times total. And he was known as, you know, a, 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 a guy who really struck out all the time. Compared to the guys who are striking out 200 times now to hit 20 home runs, with the ball is juiced, the, the, the stadiums are smaller. That uh, goes to show you that Kingman was uh, a pretty powerful dude. All right, it's going to be Dave Kingman. Uh, Alex Trevino struck out. Let's put that in there. All right, Dave Kingman up against uh, Pete Falcone. Now Kingman batted uh, 317 versus lefties. Oh, and that's going to be a 12 defense, 97. That's going to be an out, no matter what it is. That's too high of a number. And we're going to see the who. It's a ball hit to left field, line drive. And Henderson makes the catch. F7. One out. Next to Steve Onoveris. Onoveris is 0 for 2. Here's the pitch from Falcone. So wheelhouse 25 versus a lefty. And that's going to be line base hit for Onoveris. He's on with a single. Looks like a 2. Let me fix that. There we go. Fly ball left field. And uh, it's Jerry Martin. Martin's 0 for 2. He reached on an error by Flynn in the second inning and grounded out in the fifth. Dave Kingman flied out to left field, lined out to left field. And then it was a single by Onoveris, Steve Onoveris. He's on at first. I'm going to see if Onoveris goes. Probably doubtful. It's a 3, and he doesn't because he needs a 2. You can see that there. All right, Jerry Martin. Here's the pitch. And that's an 8. Patient, a patient 30. That's going to be a wild pitch. And Onoveris goes to second. Now, there, that basically pretty much eliminates the, the easy double play grounder. Jerry Martin with uh, the tying run at the plate. And Onovera's on its second in a 2-0 Mets lead here in the top of the seventh. Here's the pitch. That's a seven. That's tough. A tough 84. It's going to be a ground ball to short. And Tavares looks Onovera's back to second. Fires to first. Two away. And it's Barry Foot. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Wild pitch to second, and then it was a ground ball, six to three. Held up. All right. Here's Barry Foot. That's a four, a wheelhouse, a wheelhouse 99. Got lucky there. That's popped up to the left side. Right there's Hebner in foul territory. Waits for it, makes the catch, and that retires the side. Cubs leave one, and after six and a half, it's two nothing Mets. All right, Doug Flynn steps in the box versus uh, Kenny Holtzman. This is probably the last inning for Kenny Holtzman since he's due up in the top of the eighth inning. The pitch to Flynn, that's a four. That's going to be in play 24. In play 24 is a base hit. So Flynn is on. And the pitcher, Falcone, is going to square. He's bunting. He's a pretty decent bunter. He's a B bunter. And bunts it to the third baseman. And that's going to move Flynn 5-3. That's going to move Flynn one out now. 
to second on the sacrifice. Nice sacrifice by P. Falcone. Just gonna write that in quickly. Single held up, and then there's gonna be a sacrifice out. Sacrifice bunt five three. Runner advances. Beautiful. Uh, Joel Youngblood now. Here's the pitch from Holzman. That's a nine. That's going to be in play 70. In play 70 versus a lefty. It's going to be a ground ball to second base. Flynn is going to hustle over to third because he's a seven. So that's a 4-3. And going over to third is Flynn. So there's two outs for Frankie Tavares. Ground ball 4-3. Run to third. And here's the pitch to Tavares. Tavares on the day is 0 for 3. He's grounded out, flyed out, and grounded out again. Pitch from Holzman. That's an 11. That's ballpark. Ballpark 71 is going to take us into the in play range. So we're going to have to roll for in play. Here goes. It's a 40. In play 40. And that's going to be a pop up to the right side. Second baseman Sizemore and Buckner both calling for it. They look at each other, but Sizemore makes the catch for the third out. We go to the top of the eighth now, score 2 nothing Mets. Okay, Kenny Holzman's leading off. Now, in this game, you had a couple of guys pinch hit. I have them up here, Thompson and Henderson. Let's look at both those guys. There's a lefty on the mound, so that's the pitchers. That's not what we want to look at. All right, there's more pitchers here. Let's put these pitchers with the pitchers. I try to keep pitchers with pitchers, but don't always succeed. So Kenny Henderson, um, pretty good ball player, switch hitter, and Scott Thompson, a lefty. So we have both of these. So uh, one, two, three, it's Henderson. They both played, and it is Henderson, so Henderson's going to bat for the pitcher, Holzman, Henderson. Going to be bat right there. All right, here's the pitch from Pete Falcone. To Henderson, I'm going to write him in quickly. And it's a seven. That's a tough 61. A tough 61 is going to be a ground ball, second base. Flynn up with it, over to first, one away. Four three. And Ivan De Jesus. De Jesus over two, with a walk. That's a nine. Patient 36. Patient 36, and that's a base on balls. And out comes Tori, and that, I believe, is going to be all for Falcone. We're going to go blue. Blue for, for uh, Allen. Neil Allen's coming in. Neil Allen will definitely pitch to at least three batters. So Neil Allen is coming in. Now, Neil Allen pitching this game, so a nice round of applause for Pete Falcone. Did a good job. Neil Allen was uh, had a 3.55 ERA and was six and ten, with eight saves. So here goes the pitch to uh, Sizemore with one out here in the top of the eighth inning. Neil Allen. And let's see, uh, we're, gonna, we're not gonna pull a double switch right here. No reason for that. Okay. Here goes, uh, it was a walk to De Jesus. And we may run. Uh, should we run? Hmm. Keep out of the double play. De Jesus not really a good base dealer. So we will not run. Oh wait, well he had 44 attempts. That's basically uh, one every fourth game. So basically, uh, let's roll. Um, let's 
let's roll and uh, wish I had a four sided die that would be that would be easier to do and I must have some one somewhere but we're gonna do uh, evens evens he goes and odds uh, he let me see you know what we're, he's gonna hold he's gonna hold I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find a four sided die eventually all right so size more here's the pitch seven that's a tough a tough 12 and that's gonna be a strikeout so Neil Allen comes in and strikes out Sizemore for his first strikeout and out number two good job there for Neil Allen striking out Sizemore and back to first is De Jesus. So the tying run is at the plate in Bill Buckner. Bill Buckner is 1 to 20 home runs if we get to the wheelhouse. See what happens. That's an 11. That's ballpark. Uh oh. 79. No, oh, that's going to be in play. Let's see what happens. 1 to 28. And that's a 26. That's going to be a single. Single runner advances one base, but with two outs. If De Jesus is a six or more, he's going to go to third, and he's a seven, so he does hustle over to third with two outs. So it's a single by Bill Buckner, and that's his second hit of the game. First and third now, and it's Mike Vail. Here's the pitch to Mike Vail with two outs. It's 2 nothing Mets in the top of the eighth. The Cubs have Buckner at first, Ivan De Jesus at second, and it's Mike Vale at the plate with two outs facing Neil Allen. That's an 11. That's ballpark 46, a righty. That's going to be in play range, so we're going to get to roll again for Mike Vale. Now, in, in play, if we roll low, he can get a double here and drive in uh, Bill Buckner. Actually, he was running pretty well at this point. Well, no, not really. He's a five. We should have maybe pinch run for him, but he's, uh, I guess, our third place hitter. So, all right, it's a 32. It's a 32, and a 32 is going to be outside of the in play range. It's going to be an out. It's going to be popped up to the first baseman. Stearns playing first for the Mets today, and he makes the catch, and that retires the side, and the Cubs leave two big runners on. And they miss a big opportunity. Neil Allen did a great job for the Mets. Mike Vale pops up. Pop up, three. Side retired. Lee Mazzilli against a new pitcher. Now, who pitched for, it was uh, Moore. You're going to get Moore. And you're going to see all the pitchers you get in payoff pitch. A lot of pitchers here to choose from. Donnie Moore was in this game, and he's going to come in, going to pitch. Donnie Moore, uh, Falco, let's see, Allen. And then Donnie Moore. And Donnie Moore is going to be orange. The Met colors, blue and orange, right? All right, bottom of the eighth, 2 nothing Mets. Donnie Moore is going to face at least three batters, so we're going to darken at least three spots. And... Uh, it's Lee Mazzilli. Lee Mazzilli is one for two. He walked, scored a run, and then singled in the third, fly out in the fifth. Kenny Holtzman did a good job, as did Pete Falcone. But stands, uh, Kenny Holtzman stands to lose it, and Falcone stands to win it at this point. Here's Mazzilli. That's an eight. That's tough. A tough 55 versus a righty. That's going to be outrange. It's going to be ground ball, third base. Third baseman, Onaveras, fires the first, one away. Richie Hebner, six, tough, a tough 84. That's a ground ball, second base, Flynn. I'm sorry, uh, Sizemore throws out Hebner. Ground ball, 5-3. And then ground ball again, 4-3. That's John Stearns. Stearns is two for three. Single twice. Usually the catcher for the Mets. He's playing first base today. Here's the pitch from... Oh, you know what? I'm going to show you how to do something real quick. Uh, six. Tough. A tough 44. 
versus a right, he's going to be, oh, just missed the hit. And that's going to be a pop-up to shortstop, and that's the third out. So we go to nine, top of the ninth inning, 2 nothing Mets. Now, let me show you something really quick on iScore. One of the harder things to do here, and a couple of guys have asked me about this. Uh, pop six. That retires the side. It's going to be Dave Kingman leading it off for against Neil Allen. But this is what we're going to do here. So <clears throat> I, I brought the pitcher in, but I never wrote him in. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit out, confirm exit, go to edit game, right? I'm going to go to the eighth inning where it happened. And uh, let's see. Right here is where we should have brought in more, Donnie Moore. So it's the first, basically it's the part of the eighth inning where Donnie Moore should come in, and I'm just going to click on Kenny Holtzman facing that first batter. Another screen pops up, and it says substitution, edit. Uh, they're the visitors, and this was defense. It was the pitcher, so I'm going to put Donnie Moore in there. I'm going to find Donnie Moore. And Donnie Moore, that's another thing, uh, Donnie Moore is not written in. I, in other words, I've never used him. Oh, yeah, there he is. I have used him. There it is. So I'm going to highlight him, save, and now he's in the game. I'll just back out, go back to the game, to uh, scoring the game. It's in the ninth inning, 2 nothing. Score game. And that's it. That's one of the harder things that you got to do on this. If you and that happens a lot, you know, you just mess up and you forget to do something. It's the heat of the moment. So it's Neil Allen right now. So if you look, it'll say right here that uh, Donnie Moore basically got Hebner to, to to ground out to second base. You see, it changed the name, so everything's in place. All right, so it's going to be uh, Neil Allen. Neil Allen uh, is going to face Dave Kingman in a two to nothing game. All right, here goes, and we're gonna make it. Blue. We're gonna make those spots blue as well in the top of the ninth. At least three batters. That's an eight. That's patient. A patient zero seven against a righty. That's gonna be a base on balls. So that's gonna bring the tying run to the plate in Steve Onaveras. A walk to Kingman. Not exactly what. Neil Allen wanted to happen. Here's the pitch to Onaveras. That's an eight. That's patient. A patient 63. Patient 63 is right outside of uh, on base range here because a, a hit by pitch would have been 61. 63 is going to take us to a fly ball, shallow left. Joel Youngblood coming in, out number one. Fly to right field. I may have said fly to left. I don't know. Um, Jerry Martin. Jerry Martin's 0 for 3. Here's the pitch. That's a 5 in play. In play 47. In play 47 versus a righty is going to be an out range. That's going to be popped up left side. Shortstop Tavares calls for it. And that's two outs. Mets are one out away from winning their 31st game of the year. Hallelujah if that happens. Let's not count our eggs before they're hatched. All right, here he goes. It's going to be Barry Foote. Now let's look at Barry Foote's card. Barry Foote, I mean, he was he played. So this is not a guy you're going to pinch hit for. He batted 289 versus lefties, 240 versus right. He's hit 12 home runs. So he's got power, 1 to 34. If it ends up being a wheelhouse, it's 30% chance he hits one out. So let's try to, hopefully we can avoid that. Neil Allen's card, you want to avoid a 12. And a ballpark is an 11. You want to avoid an 11 and a 12 on this roll right here. And we get a 9. It's in play. In play 30, that's going to be a wild pitch. Again, What wild pitch. That's going to wild pitch uh, Kingman to second base. And it's Barry Foote with Kingman at second now. I'm going to color that in blue as well. All right, so Neil Allen, it's a 2-0 Mets lead. There's two outs, top of the ninth inning. Kingman is at second. Barry Foote, Cubs catcher at the plate. Neil Allen on the mound for the Mets. Here goes. 
That's a seven tough, a tough 87. That's going to do it. And that's a ground ball to Tavares. Tavares fires the first, and that retires the side. Game is over. The Mets win it. The Mets win by a score of 2 0. Neil Allen's going to pick up the save. The win is going to go to Falcone. I don't think he's won one in months. And Falcone pit went seven, seven and a third. And Allen won one and two thirds. Falcone, I mean, pitched a heck of a game. Seven and a third shutout innings, gave up one hit, two hits. Good job, Falcone. No runs, no earned runs. Uh, hit a batter, and he walked one, two, three. Struck out five there, five. Allowed no home runs for once. Neil Allen came in and pitched a heck of the ball game. He walked one and gave up a hit, but no runs, no earned runs. Struck out one, gave up no home runs. And for the Cubs, it was Holzman. Also did a good job. He went seven. He's, he's going to take the loss. He went seven, gave up uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven hits. And runs two, two earned runs. Walks, gave up one walk there. Two, three, three walks. Struck out one. Gave up one home run to Joe Youngblood in the first inning. Donnie Moore had a one, two, three inning, pitched one inning. And that's the ball game. So, the final score, the Mets win their 31st of the year. Final score is the Mets 2 and the Chicago Cubs zip. The win goes to Pete Falcone. The save goes to Allen. The loss goes to Kenny Holtzman. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. I will see you soon. We'll upload this. And uh, we're going to finish writing this in. Barry Foote, he grounded out to short. And that's all. So take care.